Welcome everybody to D&D &D The Ascension, session number 39, Beneath the Ice. Are you guys ready? Dream. Fourth not in here yet, but... Hi, Dream. <laughs> it's off, Daddy. Yeah. <sighs> okay. and I wrote down a bunch of notes and put it into a document but didn't name the document anything that made oh, no. sense so I was like so now you can't pulling up my it. notes for this I was pulling up my notes for it and I was like hey what's this is this a thing that's sitting up top of my most kind of recent things I'm like oh oh dear I forgot to do these three things uh, I think I have everything right now alright so brief recap as a lot of last session was shopping doing other things before continuing with the adventure so uh, last session you discovered the inner workings of a magical item that you discovered in the steading of the hill giants this um these chains of teleportation that you found it seemed to be a way for the hill giants and other giants to be able to transport between or teleport rather between hideouts and such for the different giant races. After learning the ins and outs of it, um, you learned that it would attune to the map that was along with the chains themselves. And you decided to make it more of your favor, marking a couple of uh, useful places for yourself while also leaving this place up to the far north, up in the... Uh, to the endless ice sea is where it was marked. Uh, so you marked your homes back in uh, that one town that I'm totally not brain farting on or anything. Blazingdale. Blazingdale, yeah. I almost said greenest. I'm like, no, that's the wrong <laughs> no, campaign. No, that's not it. Um, and also Neverwinter. With that, you decided to make your way back to Blazingdale, uh, meeting there, checking on some things, and resupplying before your next adventure. You also decided that with all of the loot that you were able to discover and take for yourselves, that being the only payment that you were promised in this adventure, you decided to go to Neverwinter to see what you could find and sell the items for. Spent a little bit of time, about most of a day in Neverwinter, resting and resupplying and finding some useful things here and there. Neverwinter not having a vast selection of magical items and such, but having enough to get you by for the time being. There's fourth. Um, you decided to wait till the next day and then set off to the far north. As you arrived, you found yourself on top of a large, just, just gigantic glacier. You looked around, not seeing immediately anything that showed any signs of any kind of hold or uh, cave entrances or anything like that. You were able to discover a large rift in this glacier. As you looked around it, you saw that traveling down it be a several hundred foot drop down into the ice below, and that the wind tearing through the rift itself was tumultuous and just very aggressive. You started exploring around, and at the far end, off to the north, you found uh, what appeared to be a large amount of snow that you came to discover was this kind of uh, you know pile of snow on the backside of a cave entrance. With that, you set down inside of the cave. As you move down to the rift itself, going down several hundred feet to get down to the first base level of it, uh, you could hear that same wind howling ahead of you. You came to a fork in the tunnel that you had been traversing downwards upon, to the right and to the left. You decided to venture to the right first, that one opening up and... As you looked around the area, as you moved into it, you saw that the rift extended even further down below you, another couple hundred feet, uh, to a large base down below that. But you did see some pathways and uh, icy caverns extending off to your right and such, off to the west. So you started exploring. and You immediately found some inhabitants to this rift. Uh, some white creatures that were bipedal and very large and very angry to see you. 
These yetis attacked ferociously. One of them should seem to be the leader of them, wielding this very large longsword that appeared to be magical in nature, uh, opting to use that instead of the uh, claws that everyone else was using. Their chilling gaze gave the party a little bit of trouble, uh, freezing a couple of you into place for a little bit, but ultimately you were able to slay these creatures, ridding the caverns of them, and rewards. You recovered this magical sword, uh, along with a small horde that was up in the room or in the caverns where the yetis had come from, that had some ivory tusks and such buried in a mound of snow there. After discovering this, you realize that you've only gone to one room so far in this place, this massive icy cavern. So much more to explore. Start the session for the evening. Hey guys, how we doing? How's everybody tonight? Center you the first time, just so you're there. Doing. Looking around, you see, uh, once again, that the large cavern that you find yourselves in is pretty empty, but you do see white fur kind of uh, stuck to the ice here and there. Obviously, this was the den of the Yetis. After careful search and such, this mound holding the ivory tusk, 11 of them, was the only thing you found within this area, aside from some old gnarled bones and such of what was probably the Yetis' food before you arrived. What do y'all want to do? Looking real quick. Um, I think we're. Just... I would like to uh, drop wild shape. Okay. Don't want to stay at two HP for a while. It's a very big cavern. I forgot Berwood got shat upon. So did Ailey on that in the fight. No. Just Sif form got yeah. hit hard. Alien was just. Alia frozen. got destroyed. He was just frozen. That was a, fight. just an unfortunate time for him. Yeah. 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 I've been thinking back, and it's like, uh, that was not. I'm looking back, and I see two crit bro. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> it I oh, yeah. Not being able to break the wisdom par paralysis, <laughs> failing on your weapon attack. It was just not a great day for you. Even the best adventure has off days. <laughs> All right. Um... Hopefully, it was just an off fight and not an off day. Kind of, kind of pure out. I'm guessing I'm seeing like additional tunnels and stuff here. Yeah, so as you're looking down, uh, you can see that the um, floor below down here, down this uh, is at the bottom of the rift, is another couple hundred feet down. Um, as you're looking around, it seems that it could be pretty easy for you to slip off and slide down uh, into this area, so you're kind of already aware to be mindful of your footing when getting close to the edge there. As you're looking across, you do see, much like on this side, uh, the icy caverns kind of form up in these walking paths. Uh, but also on the other side, you see it leading off to other various directions and other caves and such. Okay. Um, I would like to... Making sure I have it here. Hold on. Uh... Well, we know where the Yetis came from as a dead end. Yep. So, it looks like we could continue down to the south here, or we could backtrack and go the other way. Uh, Those are our two options. Probably Martin. just keep going to the south for now. Mark and Orr's kind of looking through his items that he has and uh, 
says if we if we need to climb down that I can always just put us a pit and, and attach a rope. It's how how big of a drop is it though? Um make sure I'm reading this right. Now that I'm reading over it again, it doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, so that is right. Um, so as you're looking down from your current perspective, uh, these numbers that you're seeing on the map there will say how far it is to the bottom, bottom being down here. Uh, you can see that it's, as you're looking to the south, uh, everything pretty brightly lit from the sun shining through the, um, the icy glacier above you and going down the rift up above you as well. You can see that the rift, as it goes further south, um, the ledges surrounding it are getting closer and closer to the bottom. Oh, so almost, right. almost like the further you go, it's just like descending, like downhill. Essentially, yeah. yeah. Okay. Essentially, at the top here, it'll be about 225 feet to get to the very bottom. And if you were to go all the way, way down to the south, it'll be closer to 150 feet. Gosh. A very gradual but steady descent. But we're at 250, I think. Mm -hmm. I can't see through the Yeti. Currently, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, then... I guess Mark and Orr will kind of hover along the wall here and start making his way through. Okay. Uh, it looks yeah, sure. like, so from what I'm seeing here is he's, based on the view, is this like a decline where it goes downhill? Yeah, so you see, you're able to see it just barely from your current perspective. Because uh, as you're looking to the south, you can kind of see above everything. Mm -hmm. since it's all descending uh, you see over here there appears to be this kind of carved out stairwell that seems to wrap around the walls and start heading down towards the ground level okay the bottom of the rift rather kind of wandering around and peeking in inside of the chamber here not seeing anything uh, <laughs> you were mildly surprised by how little you see as you look inside this chamber you see nothing but this fog whole, hovering through the entirety of the uh, chamber beyond. Okay, magical fog, got it. Markinor continues. He wants nothing to do with the, the fog room. It just sounds like a bad idea to him. Um... So kind of point out to the others, obviously, there's what looks to be a ramp here uh, that we could probably take all the way down. It looks like if we got to go into this trench. Uh, fog. There's this moving fog in this cave, and it's a little unsettling. <laughs> oh, the best I can do with... Random assets from the internet. Be a good one. Okay. Like so, just hanging there. It's a little bit warmer as you get closer to the front of that chamber, but otherwise not much. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, kind of look to the others and point in both directions. Just kind of like... Which way do you want to go? Do you want to stay up top or head down the ramp? There seems to be further stuff along up top. You want to check that out first? Mark and roll. Kind of nod and continue on. You know, I'm past another chamber. Make a perception check. Mark and more. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. That's tonight's session. There we go. Okay, give me one second. Um, as long as that's your only one, and you didn't take, uh, Aelion's Curse, we'll be fine. Uh, alright, so... You're all kind of moving around, heading through these chambers, not really making it a point to be quiet. Uh, you do have the wind howling, you know, from this cavern, kind of covering your sound. Um... So you have that in mind. Um, but, okay, continue on. Okay. Great. Cool. Uh, yeah. Great. Markinor's gonna keep walking. Um, oh, As you round the corner... Oh, of course. <laughs> you see a frost giant standing his back to you, but he raises his head right as you stand around the corner, your armor kind of clanking a bit as you come to a stop seeing him. He slowly turns around, tilts his head to the side, and grabs for his great axe. I need everybody to roll for initiative. Who? Cool. No RP tonight, guys. Just combat. Nope. Just, just gonna nope. throw that out. Just there. glorious combat. Just combat. <laughs> I can hide that. A whole three. Forge. Nice. Yeah. We rolled the same thing. <laughs> a whole three. I think we rolled Triangle. the same thing against the Yetis, too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Such we a both bad rolled once. Check. Gosh. Yeah, we're, we're really good. Perception check. Just... We're really good at these initiative things. Yes. Like, yours was terrible, so was the Frost Giant. I'm like, well, you're all just going to stumble into each other, I guess. <laughs> oh, all right. He's here. Got it. Oh. Uh. All right. Uh, you see Aelion, uh as Markinor just freezes and immediately kind of looks back at you. You see uh, not necessarily fear, but uh, definitely recognition of a bit of panic on Markinor's face. What do you want to do? Um, I'll step up, kind of peek around the corner, see this, uh, see this ugly dude. Markinor is just kind of know. like nonchalantly, oh, kind of pointing oh, to the north. Just, uh... This guy over there. Uh, send some arrows this way. Alright. Uh, 27, 20, and 18 will all hit. Don't remember your other, or don't forget your other, what, D8 I think you get on the first turn. Right, bonus. Right. 23, 31. Wait, 32? 32. 35. Okay. Um... And then... I'll kinda... I'll put my bow away, pull my swords out, and... Hey, flame. Alright. Uh, so... You see... Yeah, your bonus action. Activating flame tongue, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so Aelion moving up, letting off a quick volley of three arrows. Uh, Aelion, go ahead and make a perception check at the end of your turn. Kaylin. That's a better perception check. Aelion, you hear the rummaging and movement of more large creatures. Uh, from what direction? The south. The south. Kind of. Point. We might have more friends. Great. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm muted. Okay. Oh. Um. So I think I would have, might have heard Aliens' bowstrings, but that's about it. Because I don't think I can even really see anything's going on. So I'll just be like. What's going on up there? Twing, twing, twing. Oh, that's what's going on up there. <laughs> yeah, you can um, pretty much see Alien firing at something. Yeah, it's... If he's... I'm gonna go move... Between... 
Alien and Mark and Orin. You. That's so weird. Seeing the direction he's firing, see this hill giant, or what, frost giant? Frost giant. Frost giant. Frost giant. Bit bigger than the uh, hill giants you've come in contact with. Look at that one. Ew, that thing's ugly. And just, you know, fire away. Uh, all three hit? Unleash. Perception all. sucks, but Jesus, solid 30 damage. It's your consistent. Consistent. <laughs> Fives. All right. Also, where's our buddy Asen? Is he... Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, he's not Fuck, here. I forgot about Asen. Uh, he would have been up here with y'all. Because I know. Uh, she... <laughs> not. Would have been right after you. Perfect. Yay. Perfect. <laughs> he's got that nice, pretty new sword, too. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, did y'all give him the... Yep. I told yeah. him it might not be useful, but we gave it to him. <laughs> gave him the frost sword, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if that's what right, it's yeah. called. <laughs> Whatever. Scroll, scroll, scroll. No, it was a great sword. It wasn't a long sword. I was right. Yeah, it's a great sword. Okay. Um, yeah, that was it for me, unless I need to do anything else. All right, no. Uh, yeah. One of y'all have noticed uh, sounds are coming, and Alien's kind of relay, relaying that to the party, that other creatures are coming from there. Aeson, wearing his sword, pulls it out and such. You see him kind of looking at it a little bit confused. Uh, he definitely can use it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything special for him quite yet. Uh, you think that he might need to attune to this first. But before then, he's going to pull out his... Heavy crossbow. Seeing alien taking shots. 10, 15, 20. He's going to move up to the front. Pull out his crossbow. And take a shot. Uh, solid 11. It's going to miss. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright. Uh, speaking of unfortunate... Just had to go up there and ruin it, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> really didn't want him to die in this session, but maybe he's going to. Oh. <laughs> By the way, we can see those movements. Just. Oh, so that's you... fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think he cares at this point. I get yeah. that feeling. Okay. <laughs> oh, good God. All right. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm doing then. Okay, <laughs> so, guy next to Aeson is going to raise up his great axe and swing twice. <laughs> 23 Yikes. and a natural 20 are both going to hit. Is he dead? Uh, first one, 18. Second one will be 23 plus 36. God. Good Lord. Is he dead? Uh, he's still standing. Oof. Yeah. Barely, though. <laughs> you see Aeson taking two meaty hits from this great axe. He staggers backwards, blood spurting out of his mouth as he takes these two hits. He's barely holding on to life. Uh, this one, seeing this guy's got, uh, this one in the front's got Aeson taken care of. Is going to reach into a bag and hurl a gigantic rock at the next person he can see, which is Markinor. Uh, 16 to hit. Does not. Uh, this one's not in range, so he's just going to hold. These two are in range. Two more rocks coming out. Um, one at Markinor, one at Kaylin. Uh, Markinor first. A natural one. Thing. Rock bounces off the wall. It just does nothing. Uh, do, do, do. Second one from the guy in the back from downtown. 19 against Kaylin. Uh, it's. All right, that'll be 27 bludgeoning damage. Yikes. Rock impacts into Kaylin, staggering her back, ripping her arm to the side. Uh, meaty hit. Right, that's that's all the frost giants for now. Berwin. Yes. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move right up next to Markinor. 
Mm -hmm. And... Yep, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna cast Sunbeam. Okay. What a 60 foot line. Mm hmm. So. There you go. Just straight through there. Yo. Okay. Hitting both of those guys. Actually, cast it. There we go. Saves. I'm real bad at these. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Seventeen Ten. damage. Seventeen. Not blinded. Okay. And I am then going to step on the other side of Markinor and Wild Shake. Okay. Him there. Turn. Oh, there it is. And okay. that's it. All right. Bonus action. Wild shaping back into your dire wolf form. Uh, after sitting this big beam of sunlight just streaking through, you see both of the giants just taking the brunt of the impact, but they kind of just flex off most of the effects of it, not seeming too harmed by it at all, really. Alright. Want to guess what we're doing? Mm, oh, I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and going to bloop that down. Uh kind of scanning the room, uh, extending his hand out, and uh, kind of marking the area directly around him. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the aura down, so at the start of their turns, they'll start rolling. Uh, there we go. If they're in it. Yep, yeah, if they're in it. They should be, though. Alright, and... I will hmm. think that's oh, because you be have it. a regular aura. Yeah, I have yeah, my uh aura protection and then the spirit guardians. Mm. Yeah. If I can mess with colors a little bit, it makes us look a little bit better. <laughs> the yeah. one map where this is not going to work out real well. Yeah, uh, that was that was the one map where you too. can't use white. Yeah, and blue doesn't work either. I'm trying to go for the light colors, but these are all terrible. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Yeah, I did the use the green. dark gray for the aura of vitality, and then there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I just can barely see that, especially yep. with all the other information oh, I've yeah. got. So. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, okay. uh, that is going to be my turn. Alrighty, so Markinor summoning up his spiritual guardians, these fey creatures swirling around, um, preparing to hit these frost giants. Hey, Leon, back to you. Alrighty. Um, There's a lot of them. There is. Oh, let's see here. Can I squeeze next to uh, uh, Berlin? Like... Okay. Uh, that might be pushing it. Nah, you're all right. That's fine. All right. I'm gonna be very forgiving with a lot of these walls, though. So. <laughs> yeah, that crazy. Um. Okay. So. I'm in here. Uh, going down. Please go. A new one. I haven't seen this spell before. Yeah. Cone. Nice. Mm -hmm. 30 foot cone. 30 foot cone. Yeah, it's it hits just it. a casual double crit. <laughs> uh. God. Nope. 5'10. Mm -hmm. 
should be. I think I fixed the map last time. I'm double checking to make sure the measurements are right. Two five foot each. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, okay, so they both gotta make wisdom saves. DC What's your DC? Fourteen. Okay. Uh, front one saves closest to you, but back one does not. Hey, at least one of them failed. Mm -hmm. Right. And if he can't see me, then he makes. Okay. Um. And so, can I make my bonus action to attack with my sword? I don't think I can. Only if I. You have to. Sword. Yeah, yeah. You have to attack first. Okay. So uh, I am done. Alrighty. Uh, so raising up your hand as you begin to chant, um, you cast this illusion. Yeah, I was like necromancy. No, it's illusion spell. Um, as you do so, you see the this kind of purplish light crossing both of the frost giant's eyes. The first one blinks it away very quickly, but the back one, you see this kind of haze appearing in front of his eyes. Uh, he immediately. Uh, has the rock in his hand that he was getting ready to throw next time and uh, drops it to the ground with a heavy thud and you see him looking around for a way to escape. Uh, but do so until his turn. Kaylin. Oh, time to add more nuisance to this one. <laughs> All right. So. Boom. I cast Sickening Radiance. Mm -hmm. Center right about here because it's a freaking huge area. Radius so from that point will go out 30. Yeah. Okay, so wow. just sitting up to here. And it goes around corners so it covers like half the planet basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big old spell. And that would be it for right now because it's a moves into the area for the first time or starts its so spins out oh, oh yeah that's that's the level of exhaustion one yep oh yeah all right so just so <laughs> i have actually that's not a good token for that yeah I was this is a good token much for that. bigger than that just make the fought make the yeah there you eh. go eh. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I remember to hit those two. It's the only two yeah. it's hitting, so. Yeah. yeah, it just covers, like, even when they're running away, they could still be in it for all. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Uh, God, that's so large. Uh, all right, let me... You centered it back there, so let me put the center of it back there. Yeah, I centered it. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> it's such ridiculous. 30, feet, 30 foot of radius. In the middle of that guy. Yeah, it's a huge right. spell. And it's... <laughs> Aha. There you go. Good God, that's I think that's a, ridiculous. Yeah. Shit, it's it's still Good five foot too small. Fuck. <laughs> eh, whatever. Eh, Close enough. Okay. Oh my God. All right. We're just using it to block off that Good one side. Enormous fucking spell. <laughs> and it lasts High forever. Yeah, ten, ten minutes. minutes. As long as you maintain concentration, at least. All Which... right. So this guy is feared. Where's my fear? There it is. Alright, and anybody that starts their turn in that is going to make an air con shit. save or take radiant damage, and yeah. it suffers an image of <laughs> uh, Okay, but it's a save or suck, so it does nothing if they save. Yeah. Okay. Alright, anything else? Mm, nope. Alright, so this big old green cloud of radiating energy... Uh, begins to emanate around. You see the giants looking at it, kind of like, what the hell is going on? Uh, not understanding what's about to happen to them. <laughs> Aeson! Uh, Disengage and run. Disengage and run. He's, he's Flee for your life. He spits some blood, kind of looking back and doing his best to keep protecting his charges that he has sought out to do. Uh, he's going to raise up Frost, this... Uh, Frosty looking sword and swing it twice. Uh, just as a regular great sword right now, no. unfortunately. Oh man. Okay. He's going to hit both okay. his attacks though. Uh, 25 and 18 will both hit. Uh, first attack doing 24 die. points and 28 total. Or wait, no. 24 plus 7 is 31. 31. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. 
He swings twice. You see this frost giant that's been pelted by a couple spells and some arrows and uh, now by a greatsword is uh, looking pretty beat up, but is still standing. Uh, Aeson, wearily, kind of after he swings the second time, you see him panting heavily. <clears throat> As it becomes their turns again. All right, we'll resolve this down here. These two guys are in the sickening radiance. They're both going to make con saves. Uh, There's closest one first. Wow, oh, they both fail. Okay, <laughs> no, they take a whole no damage, but uh, and then the closest one to me also wisdom saves. Yeah, also wisdom save for him. Uh, nine. Six damage. All it. Yeah, that was. Nice. That's not the whole point. But that uh, exhaustion, though. So he'll take 15 uh, radiant for mine, too. Alright. Uh, this one, after taking the damage, uh, they both get one level of exhaustion, right? One point, yeah. mm -hmm. so The crazy we'll thing say... is, you could actually just kill somebody by them failing six saves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we'll say... One. <laughs> One. Okay, that's their mark in their exhaustion. This guy dropping his rock is taking the hell off. He is going to dash away. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, at the end of his turn, I think he gets to make a saving throw, right? Yeah, it ends its turn. See, yeah. He can't see Alien from there, so he gets to make another wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Yes, wisdom. Uh, 20. Know, He's see. no longer feared. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <gasps> sorry sorry i just realized something you can just drop concentration anything right yep yeah and free action we're fighting more giant Austin, there we go uh yeah you're, you need to get your sword out mm-hmm mm-hmm Okay, so it's just ability checks for them right now. All right, so those two, or that one is done. Uh, this one that has suffered one point of exhaustion is going to see a uh, little alien that just tried to fear him and is going to raise his great axe and swing it twice at alien. Uh, a 24 and a 17. He's just outside of four will hit. All right, so 26 slashing damage from that attack. On the miss, be... I'm gonna use my reaction. Uh, uh, I make an attack with that, right? Oh, sorry, no, that's not the one. It's this one. It's you. This is you, then, attack. Okay. Right. So. <clears throat> okay. Uh, twenty-eight will hit. That's seven plus thirteen. Twelve. Sorry. Oh, okay. Alright, so as it swings the first time catching you, you dodge out of the way the second one and immediately repost, uh, able to stab with your uh, shatter spike into his flesh, doing some damage, but he is a meaty giant. Um, this guy's going to step up here. Uh, uh, north guy still needs to with some Yeah, save. I'm going in oh. order of everybody. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's last because he's probably going to kill a son, so. <laughs> uh, all right, so this one, not even really noticing the little elf. Uh, the one in the back is going to throw a rock at Shiny Boy with a, a bunch of auras around him. Yep, uh, 20 to hit for yep. 32 points uh, of damage. Actually, no, it will not hit because the cloak is up. Oh, the cloak so displayed. Okay. Oh. All right, so 19 to hit then. It misses just hitting this kind of doppelganger that's appearing next to you and then reappears again after the rock floats through it. Mm -hmm. uh, second one, gonna do the same thing. I can order and all his orders drawing a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. A 17 will also miss. Yep. All right, this guy, finally moving to the last one. Make his wisdom save, 20. Uh, what was the damage you rolled? Uh, 15, so we'll take that. 15. All right, he is still standing. Uh, swings just once to start at Aeson, seeing him looking very weak. 19 for 24. Uh, Aeson will use his reaction to parry, knocking the blow away uh, as he now swings a second time. 
and a 17 will miss. <laughs> okay. Ace Hunt. Let's go, oh, Ace Hunt. Lee. Lays up the great sword, yeah. slides off the great axe, and he swings six, the second time. You see Ace on do dodging just out of the way, the great axe hitting into the ice and cracking it. Uh, Ace on still looking very weak, but still standing. Erwin. Mm. F it. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm going to hop over here. Mm hmm. And instead of using my melee attacks, I'm going to sunbeam again and hit all three of them. Okay. Uh, so three con saves coming out closest to you first. Going backwards. Maybe. If I click the button. Now the one in the back will on. fail. <laughs> uh, so he is, he is blinded and takes 25. Take 12. Closest to you, looking very weak. And this guy is blinded. Also, that very poor damage roll. Feels bad. Did that take damage from, uh... Or did that guy take damage from... What is it, the angels? Spirit Guardians? Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he took half damage because he saved. Right. Very weak, but still standing. Okay, that was your action. Yep, and I think that was your action, if I remember right. Yeah, bonus action. I don't have anything, so that's it. That's my turn. Action. All right. So this wolf, looking forward and growling with this great sword in his teeth, um, just has the sun. Uh, beam of light appear in front of him and burn into these giants. Uh, the one closest to you all staggers backwards, taking a lot of damage, barely standing. Uh, the other two are kind of whatever, but the one in the back is blinded by it. Markinor. Uh Kind of looking around, noticing uh, the one to the north is looking bad. Uh, going to... Let's see, how many, do I want to do that? Uh, the flick of a wrist, uh, sacred flame in the direction of the giant to the north. Okay. Dex save. They're not very dexterous. He fails yeah. for, oh god, 21 damage. 21 damage. That was a yeah. good roll. That was, that was a really, really good roll. roll. Uh, um, and... yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, uh, with that on my bonus action at level three i'm going to cast uh healing word uh, so everybody gets some healing here some people are taking Six. damage try to get something out hey son feels very very slightly better but slightly hey, better something um and at the end of my turn i'll re-roll here Okay. All That's right, fair. so uh, Sacred Flame appearing, burning into the face of this giant. He wails in pain as he falls and collapses to the ground. Uh, Markinor chanting once again as he sends out this healing word, healing up a couple of you who were damaged. Uh, yeah, a few of you were damaged, so that's a good roll. All right. Uh, and I'm going to uh, kind of shout to Aeson and tell him to get behind us. Uh, Alien. All right, so I'm just gonna move back a tiny little bit here. And, uh, am I still in range? Yes. Um, he didn't leave his threat range, no. Yeah. Because I still want to attack. Um, which I'm going to. <laughs> One, two. Uh, then I'll just use my pick as well. Okay. Uh, 19 and 25 will all hit. And 21 piercing damage, slashing and slash piercing, and then 11 fire. On 11, uh, 32. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. 
All right, so slashing out with flame tongue, you see the flames whipping into this uh, frost giant. Doesn't seem to hurt him any more than usual, but he definitely, you know, not a huge fan of fire. Uh, pretty solid hits on him. Shatter spike finishing up. Uh, he's looking a little winded, but not anything compared to what you want him to look. Kaylin. Um. Well, with this guy still down here in my lovely, lovely bath of light, I'm going to turn my attention to the north of this one and just yeah, smack him a few times. Uh, which one were you targeting? Um, that one? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll hit. Eight. For 27. Okay. Bad math. All right, twenty-seven points of damage. Anything else? Nope. All right, three more bolts of eldritch energy flying out, hitting this frost giant. Uh, he staggers back ever so slightly, but is definitely still standing. Asan, very weak. Here's Markinor crying out, uh, kind of grunts and takes a few steps back, moving back uh, into the group. He is going to pull his heavy crossbow back out, though, and take a shot at the same one that... Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, he's going to take a same at a uh, Kaelin just shot. Uh, heavy crossbow. <laughs> Comedy just sticks it into the dead body of the fallen giant right in front of him. Just can't get it above it. All right, and we start again. Uh, I'll go ahead and make the wisdom save and con save for this poor bastard down here. Uh, he will take the full damage from your 17. previous roll. 17, okay. And his con save. Doo, doo, doo. I think that still 13. fails, so another 13. <laughs> and are... two levels. Two levels yeah, of exhaustion all right, so now he is, uh, yeah, can't move very fast. Uh, but he is just going to power through, um, moving forward and swinging to Alien again. Two great axe attacks. Uh, 11 and a 20. Going to protection fighting style, the second one. Okay. So 14, so both attacks will miss. This guy no longer feared. Yeah, but, uh, All your attack. my reaction. And for 13. Plus the same. Okay. So another oh, one. Plus All right. <laughs> oh my that guy's looking pretty beat up. Uh, you hear stomping as the one giant that had disappeared momentarily running for his life reappears uh, back up top. Uh, not having much sight, but having enough to throw a rock at Berwin. 25, Berwin. Yeah, that hits. Uh, all right, uh, that'll be 28 points of damage, and I need a Constitution saving throw for Sunbeam. Eight. That hurt. Fourteen. On. You get a plus three anyway, so. I didn't yeah, need your I'll plus do. three. Still good. <laughs> you say that now. Oh shit. That's Not fine. yet. <laughs> Alright, so you're able to take some damage but maintain your concentration on Sunbeam. Uh, for now at least. Uh, this one, seeing his comrade die from a sacred flame, still seeing swirly shit down there. Not liking it, going for Shiny Boy again with a rock. That's gonna miss. Uh, this guy. doesn't like sunlight. He's going to do his best to try to throw something at the same target. So attacking with double disadvantage, I guess, at Markinor. Yay, double disadvantage. <laughs> just a rock. <laughs> Flies down the hallway, but then hits way short. Uh, so he's just he's trying his best. Uh, it's not enough. All right. Uh, still several giants still standing. I think it's only for one turn, right, the Sunbeam Blind? Yes. Well, it's to the end of my turn, or to the beginning of my turn. Okay, all right, so he's still blind then. 
I'll, well, no he isn't. He's fine. I'm landing now, because it's now your turn. Or is he? Oh. We're gonna see, I guess. <laughs> I can get uh... it. Might have to shift over. I mean, if you want to move from your current perspective, no. <laughs> and nope, gotta pick two. He. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Did I find it? Sure, but this guy's gonna have advantage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll take it. He's barely touching him, <laughs> graze his <laughs> arm and try to blind him that way, it's not going to work out so well. I mean, it is pure sunlight. It is, but... Which, okay. I'm also technically emitting 30 feet bright and another 30 dim. Not that yeah. it really matters. Not useless. Oh, oh, shit. Oof, Okay. Uh, three more. Uh, we'll do the two regular ones first. Actually, I'll do three. Uh, so the second one will have advantage. Save. Constitution save. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Uh, first one saves. The other two do not. Takes uh, 17 points of damage. So the one that just ran around because he was frightened wow. and is exhausted is now then blinds. takes a blast of light that makes him blind. Awesome. <laughs> yep, yes. he's just not having a great time right now. Yeah, no. right, I gotta switch some stuff around. All right, uh, so that and wait, this is a one. Now he's blinded. This guy is also blinded, and they both take thirty-five points of damage because sunbeam. Oh, let me change his HP. All right. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. All right, another blast of sun energy. Uh, you see two giants, the same one that just got his eyesight back, uh, just opening his eyes, trying to, like, barely opening up one, tears rolling down his eyes, and just, blah, just once again, just blinded by sunlight. Uh, closes his eyes, screaming again. The one that just came around the corner is just like, why? Why? I was just feared. Why are you doing this? Markinor, Chitra. Uh, Markinor's actually... Because they're being cowards and not fighting, I'm going to fight them. Fight me! Fight me! Uh, two swipes with the hammer. Yep. Uh, wait. Wait. Hold on. I, have, I don't have... Why does that say leadership? That was from uh, Aeson last fight. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so 12's gonna miss. Uh, I did, Yarp. took that off. And then another swipe. Ooh, oh God. my god. Yep, I took the bad Yarp. dice for this one. Yeah, you did. that color. Mm. Uh, okay, I need a dexterity check, please. Dexterity check. This'll go well. Nope. 14. All right. Uh, all right. So as you swing the first time, um, you clatter off this like patchwork armor that this frost giant is wearing. Uh, as you swing the second time, however, he reaches down and tries to just knock the uh, hammer away from you, but you're able to keep your grip on it, and it doesn't fly out of your hand. Okay. That's good. Uh, we're not doing that again. Um... So, uh, I think that's gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be it, and then I'll reroll the damage on this. Okay. All right, so two swipes getting him in the range of your Fey Guardians, but missing camera, unfortunately. Alien, your turn. Oh, Oof, that was rough. Big bad guy in front of me. Um gonna kind of reverse the exact same move I did last time. All three hit. Uh, that's 25, uh, 35, 
42. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so with the last attack with uh, Flame Tongue, you stab it directly into his chest, uh, the flames leaping and cauterizing and then re-searing the wound as he slips off the blade, falling to the ground with a heavy thud. Yeah. And the good news of it, he's no longer exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Moving mm -hmm. forward, back in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So three hits, taking out another one of the giants. Uh, okay. All the other ones damaged, uh, but still looking pretty hardy. Kalen. Yeah. Still gonna stay back here. Leaving the, the sickening radiance light back there because I just don't want to get blindsided from that side. Um, hmm. I'm going to aim for the blinded dude in the back. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll three more because you'll have advantage on this attack. Let's see if you get a nat 20. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Three damage. I think I didn't need it. Um. Well, 30, you're back over your ten. Thirty-six. Uh, Thirty-six. Okay. Still standing. And I want to rip him ten feet closer to me. With grasp of Hadar. Okay. Um. You'll get about five out of it before he bumps into the other guy. I just want to knock him into the other guy. <laughs> Yeah, donk. I don't really care if he bounces back. I just wanted to knock him into the other guy. And yeah. into the spirit guardians. And into the spirit guardians. That's the point. It's not his turn, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not his turn, though. <laughs> That's yeah, it for me. Five. All right, so he bumps into him as this is all happening. Aeson still breathing heavily, uh, raises up his crossbow, reloading it, taking another shot at the closest one. <laughs> Oh my not, gosh! Not very good with this crossbow, unfortunately. He much rather right. would be up in melee. It's right next to where his other crossbow. Bolt yeah, is. just sticks another one into the body, and he's like, ah, "It's been a while since I used this thing. I I apologize." <laughs> All right, so just going to the north now. We got three wisdom saves to take care of. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right closest and furthest one, this poor guy that just got blinded coming around the corner unfortunately will be the one that fails. Poor guy, 14. <laughs> yeah. He can't catch a break. It's great. can't make any of his saving throws. He should have stretched before fighting. Uh, so the other ones will take seven. Alright. These two are still blind. Uh, just gonna throw rocks at closest target they can try to like hear and such with the whirring of the wind and cardians buffeting them. They're aiming for market or but they're doing it at super disadvantage right now. And just misting all over the place. But god damn if that second one hit. Uh yeah, right. All right. the one closest to you, unimpeded by that, is just gonna swing away with his great axe twice at you, Arcanor. Okay. Uh seventeen and eighteen. Cannot do it. All right, so three more fucking four attacks, just not able to hit. Berwin, your turn again. Ah, yes, it is my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna um. No, I have no. Right up here, and since they're all kind of stacked on top of each other, <laughs> more sun. <Sure. laughs> Not gonna even bother taking the thing off. I'll just make three more con saves, starting with closest. Oh my god, that damage though. Oh god. All right. Uh huh. Okay, the well, two in the two back. The save. They are able to get rid of the blinding. Yay! And the one closest now is blinded. <laughs> 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 All right. So twenty damage to him. Other two. And the others. And. <sighs> That's it. All right. You see that the closest one in the one in the back that got pulled forward are starting to look pretty rough. The guy that now is unblinded and able to see uh, looks the healthiest among them. Markinor. Uh, Mark 
Markinor is. What is Markinor gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna attack. Might as well. Alright, wait, wait, advantage. Uh, okay. That was actually the scariest. <laughs> Earlier uh, than the side. That could have went a little crazy. 26 will hit. And then second one, 23. Also hits. Uh, and then I'm going to use, because I haven't done this in quite some time, a Count of War Priest. And attack again. Uh, 22. Uh, 22 also hit. Okay. Uh, so one, two, three. Or 16. Uh, yep. And uh, recast here. And that is going to be my turn. All right. Three more hits with the Hammer of Durgadin. Uh, knocking this guy down. He's looking even weaker now. Uh, still blind, unable to dodge any of your attacks. Uh, Aelion, your turn. It's consistent oh. damage, at least. I've seen these great people in I'm gonna just kind of take a step back. Um, pull out my. Uh, so first, I'm gonna use my bonus action. I'm gonna hunter's mark this guy in front of me. Okay. Um. Then, uh, bring some arrows out. Yeah. Uh, both what? Yes. 21. 21. All right. Uh, don't don't both arrows hitting solidly. He is still standing though, very bloodied. Uh, that is all. All right. Aelin. Okay. Well, so I've seen the front guy is very bloodied. Going to do the normal thing. Uh, 25 will hit. Nine. Uh, hit him right in the eye socket where he was already blind, and you finish him off. All right, and then the other two for the one right behind him. All right. 24 and 28 both hit. Yeah, 21. 21, all right. Also looking very bloodied now. Still standing, though. That's it for me. All right. Asan, seeing that guy looking very weak, is going to... Look up with determination in his eye. Reload the crossbow. Take a shot. You got this. Oh, oh it soars this. over the giant and hits the second one in front of you, Mark Norn, and sticks into that one this time. <laughs> Get closer. <laughs> All right. Uh, much damage did you roll? Uh, Shit done, right? 26. 26. All right, so this guy's dead, regardless of his save. Uh... This one's going to attempt. He fails. He takes 26. All right. He is going to step over the bodies of his comrades, screaming, and is going to swing twice with his great exit. You mark it or. Okay. A 22 on the Ooh, first one. Both are going to hit. All right. So 26 damage, 26 damage for 52. Yep. 52 points of damage. Oof. Look at displacement deactivates. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's moving forward, making moves, steps into it. Doesn't care about your spirit guardians. He still looks pretty hardy, comparatively, uh, and he will hit you for a bunch of damage. Berwin. The uh, Berwin. Mm -hmm. oh, damn it. <laughs> I'll say that again. So, Sunbeam's fun and all, but Wade uh -huh. also wants in on the action. So mm -hmm. with a glowing paw full of sunlight, plants it and takes two large swings at the giant. Alright, swing away. 16! Hits. Oh my god. That actually does the 21. 21, okay. Still standing. Oh, natural 20 nice. will definitely hit. Um, 
12 plus 13 is 25 plus 17. 25 plus 17 is 42? Did I do the math right? Oh. I stopped listening when you got above 26. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so for clarification, take out the clarification also, the extra slashing damage from Waith against Giants, is that maxed or is that just it is extra an extra dice. one, so it is not maxed. Okay. Just the only to thing that's sure. maxed is your initial weapon or spell attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just one clarification on that. Not that it matters yet. Mm, not yet. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and describe how you took out the last frost jam. Um, First one, just good chop right across the chest. The second one, spinning around and just uh, taking off his head. All right. So flop. Uh, it goes his head as it lands on the ground with the wet kind of squishing sound. Uh, blood uh, marring the crystalline icy white floor. Yeah, you find yourselves out of combat. Yay. I'm going to walk over to Asan, place my hand on his shoulder and say next time try not to run into situations like that i know i know what you are doing and you're trying to help us and trying to defend us but in that case i don't think that was the wisest choice you could have made and cast uh cure wounds at level one heal up his wounds he kind of nods to you and then kind of shrugs he says ah well if nothing else better they were hitting me than you Took a long time for that to actually happen. Yes, you're very difficult to hit. <laughs> Get me one of those cloaks. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, what do you want to do? I want to grab my arrows. The only ones I really care about were three. Plus twos. The plus twos, I think we clarified that last session if I remember right. Uh, they lose their magic when you shoot them. Oh, okay. So, they're regular arrows. You can still get some regular ones, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll pick the one. <laughs> get half of them back. Mm. Gonna okay, drop concentration just... now on sickening radiance. Okay. But I want to take a walk this. through that. You, you you don't, Wolf. You don't. Arf, arf. Not to be a good thing. So, oh, this, I need to pull that This pile right here, is it anything of... Alright, so as you move into this area, uh, uh, you see each of these areas as you start to explore around um, the next few areas you're going to move through. Uh, you see there's like piles of hides for sleeping. Uh, you see some tables and stools. Uh, you see a few extra giant-sized weapons, these large great axes uh, laying around. Uh, you see some rocks, you know, boulder-sized rocks that they use for throwing uh, sitting around as well. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, that's all you find in this first area. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to Berlin in Sif form and be like, um, do you want me to harvest some nails from these giants? I nod. I nod. Thank you. Well. Alright, I'm gonna. It might take some time, but I wanna harvest as many nails as I can from. Okay, uh, make three survival checks. Okay. Can I assist at all? Uh, kind of hard for you to do in wolf form. Okay, that's fair. Uh, you're able to get a total of... Uh, four 
frost giant nails. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. As you move around, you're seeing more of the same, more of these sleeping hides and such, a few crates full of uh, dried meats and such. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Markinor and Berwin make perception checks. Does it involve smell or sound? Nope. Down to this one. Okay, cool. Um, both of you are able to see as you're looking around this chamber, uh, this you know table and such with a lamp on it. But back behind it, you see there's a what appears to be a small, uh, clear spring of water that's about two feet deep. The only reason you really noticed it is you see a bunch of these uh, clear rock crystals sitting down at the bottom of this uh, spring. Um, the clear there's a lot of them inside there, all of them kind of jagged and some of them rounded off in some points, but they look somewhat valuable. Where is it? Back here, like in this nook. Okay. I'm gonna head over there. Is it is it just just water? It's yeah, it's clear water, you know. So clear that it almost looked like ice at first, but as you move forward, you can see that it's undulating ever so slightly of this just very clear water, and you see these uh, rock crystals down at the bottom of the water. Very shiny, very valuable looking. I'm going to try and paw them out. Okay, so as you reach down with a paw, you're able to uh, kind of use it and break off a couple of them and paw them back out. Um, make an insight check. Real good. At that. 14 and 14. Uh, did I find anything in these? Uh, more of the same in there. Okay. Didn't find anything extra. It was a small grill, uh, like okay. some metal weaved over a fire pit, probably where they roast meat. Um, Berwin, you can tell that these seem like they're valuable. It's hard to say exactly how much, though. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Knowing it? that is Berwin wanting somebody to come over. There's, there's <laughs> been enough time with Berwin and Sif for him. I'll walk over and be like, yeah, 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 I got your nails, Wolf. What I, else? uh, I paw the, uh, clear crystals on the ground. Alright, I'll go in and try and retrieve them. What is it, boy? Is Timmy stuck in the well? <laughs> stuck in the spring? And I'm uh, guessing there's still more in the uh, spring also? Oh yeah, a lot of them. Uh, Kaylin, make an insight check as you're looking at these rock crystals. Yeah. <laughs> Look shiny. Look like they're kind of valuable. Uh, there's at least, uh, there's almost 300 of them uh, spread around inside this spring. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I'd say there's more in there. What are you guys looking at? Shiny stuff. Rockinor and Alien make uh, insight checks. At least one of y'all. Thank y'all. Oh God. It was a 10 DC. You scrubs. <laughs> um, hey. <laughs> Markinor and Alien, as you're looking at these, you're able to tell that they aren't uh, terribly valuable, but the size and weight of these rock crystals uh, could fetch a, a good price at jewelers or people that make decorations and such. Uh, each one of these 278 clear rock crystals are worth 10 gold pieces each. If you want to retrieve all of them, they each weigh half a pound. Good thing we have a portable hole. That's 2,780 gold pieces worth. Yeah, I'm trying to remember... Uh, what was that? Uh, the max of the bag of holding. How much is it? 500? I think it's 500. Yeah, it should be 500. But, my notes. we also, like, uh, Kaylin said, have a portable... Oh. Damn, do you have 
<laughs> Which, does a portable hole have a weight limit? Nope. It has a size limit. Yeah, because you're just literally ripping open a new space, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it's a... It doesn't say how... Well, six feet in diameter and ten feet deep, so 60-something... Oh. It's a lot of space. <laughs> a lot of space, yeah. Roughly 60 square feet? Roughly yeah, 60 square or something? Roughly, I'm no, not, not doing that math in my head. Oh, what's the area of a cylinder? Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's the area of a circle times the height. Yeah. I know pi is involved. Yeah, it was pi r squared times ten. Is what it is. Yeah. Six diameter, so that's three. Yeah, it's so like ninety. Pi sixty-five, maybe seventy. No, it's more like ninety. So pi times. That's actually it's even nine. more than that. Whatever, it's like. Whatever. It's enough to fit, fit 270 crystals, put it that way. With a lot of extra space. Ripping yeah. <laughs> Markinor, you could also throw the ivory tusk in there. Oh, that's right, I could, couldn't I? Because those things weigh a lot. Wait. Wait. We already got rid of the ivory tusk. We did? We no, we no, just got the Yetis stuff. had them. No, these are new ivory tests. Those oh, are the ones you found with the yetis. Sorry. Do I not have them on? I don't have them on my thing here. Oh, that's why. Okay. They were uh, up here. Okay. Uh, then yeah, we uh, will go ahead and throw those into the portable hole then. Yep. Yeah. Just for a uh, for reference, it's two hundred and eighty-two square feet. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It, yeah, it's pi r, pi r squared times height, so there's quite a bit of space. Yeah, okay. it's it's pretty much uh, until it gets to the point of absurdity, you'll have a, yeah. a lot of carrying capacity. Yeah. Or if you just want to try and put a whole giant in there. Yeah, when you start throwing, like, tables and shit in there, then we'll have a talk. But if you're throwing, like, little bits of loot and rocks and shit, <laughs> it'll be all right. <laughs> You mean until we start throwing like ten tables in there? But we want some tables. I'm like, uh, okay, I guess, yeah, but like, gonna run out of room pretty quick. Yeah. So when when we re redecorate our keep, yeah, then it'll be a problem. But hey, it's easy for moving. We could start our. That's how you start your moving company. Just get Just a, a bunch, bunch of portable, of portable holes. holes. Yeah. Easy. It's true what my games devolve into now <laughs> moving companies <laughs> fine fine <laughs> all, right, all right so as far as these areas uh yeah those areas that you've been to thus far that's all you've found is hides and tables and such but also these valuable rock crystals all right Okay, uh, Arkin is just gonna start walking around again. Wait, so what's this little offshoot down here? 278 rock crystals, correct? Yes. Okay. Arkin or in that chamber, you find more of the same, more hides for sleeping and such. Uh, Berwin, as you're moving down here, uh, make I a perception did. check. As you're looking down to the south, you see that it's a bit closed in and such in this back room. You see what appear to be uh, large pieces of frozen meat uh, sitting and hanging from the walls and such in this chamber mm. down. Drool mm. starts dripping from one side of the mouth. Just staring at the meat. If you're that hungry, go eat it. I mean, yeah, you might 
try to fit through doesn't fit through. <laughs> you could shimmy oh, through there if you needed to. Poor puff. Oh, Giants. I could? Yeah, Giants can make their way through that. Oh, then I'm gonna shimmy my way through. Come down here. And just start gnawing on one of the pieces of meat. You said it was okay. frozen, right? Uh huh. Uh, Aelion, or sorry, Kaylin, make a perception check. Uh, as you look down in there, you see this, you know, large and small pieces of frozen meat. And your eyes are drawn over to uh, what appears to be a large chunk of meat that uh, Berwin is starting to pull out, trying to gnaw onto it. Uh, it being pretty hard, it being frozen. But you're able to clearly see that most of this meat is humanoid size. And what Berwin is trying to pull out is definitely probably like a thigh or something of some kind of human. Oh, God, Berwin. Uh, mm? Don't. Don't. Don't do it. You don't want to eat that. Mm. No. It's mm. humanoid. Huh. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to be that bad of a druid. Please. I spit that out right as he says that. I look down. I see that now. Yeah. And I'm now sad. And, and, and start and start walking back out. Wait, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Looking right here, you see what appears to be what appears to be a large boulder, not made of ice, that's been placed here. Uh, it looks like it could be moved. Oh, I'm gonna go up and. Try to move it as best I can. Okay. Uh. <laughs> give me an athletic check. Oh. Yeah. I'm actually decent at that in wolf form. Yeah, you're able to put your shoulder against it and it kind of starts to slide and such, and you're able to. Wait for me to move. <laughs> Dynamic lighting, stupid. Hooray. Oh! <laughs> it was a secret back door entrance. Yeah, had the uh, radiant light been there, they probably would have busted out of that and come to you from a different angle. But radiant sickness uh, said no to <clears throat> that. Um. Yeah, good thing it goes uh, around corners and. Uh, <laughs> based on where I'm standing, do I? Ah. Uh... I'm asking first because I see the walls. Oh, this is another shitty area with lighting. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm assuming I probably don't see what I see. Didn't have line of sight yet. Yeah. There's a couple areas in here that I fixed in the other playthrough. This one didn't come up though because of things. <laughs> because okay. reasons. Because reasons. Yep. All right, so yeah, you can't see that quite yet. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's um, fair. We were still following our path around anyways because we were gonna go through. The yeah, we were gonna portion. go that way anyway. So. Um, I, I would like to stealth. Uh, okay. Just because. I don't want to run into that same issue we just did. And as Mark and Ward saunters by, I kind of nudge him a little and put a paw up to my mouth. Okay. All right. Everybody stealthing? Yeah. Yeah. Yup. Eyes can't stop. Stops. <laughs> Aeson's trying his best. <laughs> He's having a rough go today, too. He is. Alright, but luckily the group stealth is pretty good, so. Alright. 
you're looking around once again this whole area like down over here and such is all just this empty you know crevice uh, where the rift continues down just howling with wind uh, giving you a bit more protection to the elements uh, as we're entering into these halls do I hear any movement anything like that Make a perception check with disadvantage. Okay. So 13. All right. Um... As you're moving forward, uh, the wind's still howling behind you. Um, it's hard to hear much aside from the constant just or just this howling wind behind you. Uh, but you do clearly hear the sound of heavy snoring radiating up from your south. Cool. Uh, point in the direction of the tunnel to the south uh, and kind of give a motion like Wait just a second. I'm going to slowly continue around, uh, giving another stealth check. Mm hmm. Uh, 17. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of peeking around into the next chamber here, like just checking like every little alcove as I'm making my way around. See a place where the ice kind of juts out to a small alcove, but seeing it leading up and then jutting back to the south ahead of you. Okay. And then start looking up ahead. I see something. Is that like something carved in the ice on the ground right here? Uh, it appears to be some kind of runes have been carved into the ground. Orvish. Got it. Uh, what do they say? Oh, sorry. It's in giant. Okay. Orvish runes. Yep. But, okay. Uh, as you're looking down, you see uh, the dwarvish runes written in giant. Uh, or written in giant with dwarvish runes. That's mm -hmm. correct. Uh, a warning. It says, beware. Uh, uh, seeing that and looking down, um, I just kind of motion and whisper, uh, softly back to, uh, Berwin and just let them know that it says beware. Uh, I'm going to make another stealth here. Mm-hmm. Can, can I check to see if there's, like, anything hiding in this little area or nearby? Uh, you make a perception check. Okay. Kind of smelling for stuff, even if it's Invisible. Sure. Potentially. Yeah. Uh, noticing that... Uh, Markinor, as you're looking down to the south here, mm -hmm. just beyond where you are... Yeah, just beyond where you are. You see the walls, instead of the crystalline, you know, icy uh, complexion that you've seen all throughout this place... Uh, you see the arm, or the walls rather, appear to be crusted with this rough old ivory. Hmm. Uh, kind of hearing Berwin sniff around a bit and look back and try to see what he notices. Do I notice anything? Um. Make an insight check. Oh, I'm glad it's raining out. Uh, as you're sniffing around your nostrils, it's almost like 
you know that feeling whenever you uh, bite into a mint or suck on a mint or something like that where it gets really cold like your nostrils are filled with that even though like no cold air is uh, moving straight into your nostrils right now it's a bit it's a weird sensation it's not a natural one though Ear, ears are flat back now. Okay. Uh, Markinor, as you move forward, uh, give me a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, ouch. Okay. Uh, uh, you oh, take uh, 16 points of cold damage. As the walls you get closer to it, it bursts apart. As what you thought was ivory was actually this brownish mold that bursts apart and engulfs you for a few moments. You're able to move back, trying not to breathe in too much of it as it starts lacing itself across your skin, uh, fighting off the major effects of it, but you still take... Uh, what should I say? 16? Yeah, 16 points of damage. Oh. Uh... And with oh, that, immediately, uh, Mark and kind of steps back and points to the walls uh, and reaches down uh, underneath of his armor and kind of pulls up uh, the undershirt that he's wearing uh, a bit to kind of mask his face. No art. Your magic. So, magic. Uh, but with that. The ideal kind of uh, I guess I'll do this again these stealth rolls are one by one going down and just slowly lowering slowly. Uh, make one more perception check for me okay As you're looking around, covering your face and trying to protect your body from this mold that you see is covering the entirety of the walls to your south, uh, you no longer see ice. It's to be able to just kind of grow everywhere, covering even the ceiling and such. Uh, as you're looking down towards the ground, you start seeing uh, what appears to be like old snow on the ground. But as you look at it, looking at these little clumps and mounds of old snow, you can see the ends of bones sticking out of them. Almost like it was uh, like a burial ground of sorts. Like hastily thrown bones and then mm. snow piled on top of it. No, well, you're thinking more, more so dead. Yeah, more so victims of probably the the mold in this area. Gotcha. Um, kind of look back at the others. Uh, do, do we want to proceed? Uh, uh, well, are we going to be safe? Not if that has anything to say about it and point over to the mold on the wall. I mean, if the giants are concerned about it, it could be a problem. And we don't know how far it goes. I mean, wolf, wolf. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm... Mark and we're slowly going to... Start taking a step back and get back into the chamber here. Okay. So, like, kind of staying away from the walls. The mold no longer reacts without you getting too close to it. Uh, you back away with no further incidents. Okay. Um... So then I look to the others and kind of motion. Uh, we'll just head back where where we had heard the sounds from before. All right. Mm. So as you rejoin the others, moving away from this cavern covered in mold, uh, start heading back to where it sounded like loud snoring. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our quick five-minute break real quick. Okay. All right, guys, uh, five minute break. Uh, when we get back, we will continue this plunge into this very large giant frost giant cavern here. Um, 
don't go anywhere uh, we'll be back in just a few right all right ready when you are ready <clears throat> so uh, you've backed out of the scary mold room and find yourselves moving back the way you came. Yep, scary mold room. Mm. Okay. Uh, Mark and Norris going to start making his way back. Still keeping quiet, so... Alright, uh, everybody go ahead and roll stealth checks again. Getting progressively worse. Oh no. Okay. As, as I'm backing, backing up, I bump into the wall. Alright, so feel, uh, you're all kind of moving around, you know, the last few moments uh, being a bit of a surprise, you know, from the wall attacking Markador and such, and wanting to explore further, but deciding not to. Uh, you're not really focusing as much on stealth, but still trying to move quietly. Okay. Um, sticking along the wall here. As you move around the corner... You hear rustling. The snoring continues, but then you hear a voice calling up from the south. Uh, in Giants, you hear this deep, guttural voice saying, Who is it? Who is there? Kind of motioned everybody to hold up for a second. Going to continue listening. My my ears are flat back and the hair hair on my neck is uh, definitely raised now. Uh, okay. A few moments pass of silence. Then you hear uh, kind of a bit quieter, but you hear uh, Uvag, wake up. And you hear the snoring stopping. You hear some more rustling. It's just like we have some guests. Uh, look back, whisper, they're alerted to us, they know we're coming. And look back at Darwin and say, do we charge? Mm hmm? I said, look back at Berwin and say, do we charge? Because don't really feel that they're prepared, ready for battle. So, and they already know we're here. So we might. There's that chance. I kind of crouch down a bit. All right. We're yeah. We're we're gonna just barge in and just start combat I guess so I had my 15 feet on the stealth still left uh, from when I was hearing them uh, and then with the top of the battle turn order yeah gonna just charge forward and okay make our way in I guess all right so hearing two voices you all start creeping ahead and then start charging forward they can get to where they are now, and we'll go ahead and roll for initiative. Okay. <laughs> you two are consistent tonight. Man. Consistently <laughs> bad. Although it's not just tonight <laughs> on initiative. It's Luckily day. for you, the Giants can't roll initiative or shit, so... <laughs> Oh, I, mean, I didn't even set it. There we go. Still probably oh, better sure. than us, but... Barely. Ever so slightly. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> so very slightly. 
All right. Only uh, better than so, you. Yeah, only better than one of you. Oh, I just ripped my knee into my table. Ow. <laughs> oh, oh, it didn't feel good. Okay. It didn't feel great. All right, Kaylin, uh, you see the others starting to charge forward uh, towards <laughs> what you're now seeing is giants that are beginning to move forward down this hallway towards you. What do you want to do? Uh, since I don't want to run ahead of everybody else, and I have stupidly long-range spells. <laughs> All right. I uh, assume targeting the one closest to you. Yeah, closest one. Okay. Uh, all three will hit. Twenty-eight. Okay. <laughs> all right. Anything else? Mm. I'm just gonna give uh, Berwin a quick pat on the back and say, "Go get him, bud." <laughs> All right. So, Kaylin, three bolts of Eldritch Energy slamming into this first giant that was creeping forward down the hallway, just catching sight of you all. Uh, gets three Eldritch Blasts for his trouble. Hey, Leon. Um, let's see here. I'll move a little bit up so I can see him. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to move Hunter's Mark to this close guy. Okay. Uh, well, far away is he? Uh, yeah, he's 60 feet. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, once again, all of them will hit. Was that 40? Yeah. I, 40. Missed a, I missed a 10 in there. Uh, okay. Alright. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. Alright. Quickly marking your prey. You take three quick shots, uh, Legolas style. Sitting three of these arrows down, uh, opting for your plus one ones this time. Uh, all of them making solid contact into this giant's chest. He staggers a bit, uh, slowing him down just ever so slightly, but he's still a coming. Berwin. Yes. Um. Well, that's too far. That's not. I'm going to run down here. Uh. Bonus action. Um, combat wild shape, and then hold my action till one of them comes in range. Okay. And that's it. Mm. Okay. All right. So moving forward, healing up a bit as you do so, preparing for this giant to get a little bit closer to you, which it obliges doing so. Uh, okay. Stepping forward to, or actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, you're within range of it, so it's just going to swing from back here. Uh, making two great X stacks at you. Uh, 28 and 28. Yeah. Wait. Oh, no. 52. Come back. <laughs> Wait. No. Come back. For how much? Uh, 52. Okay. The Berwin token. <laughs> Six carryover damage. up here for right now as I'm sure it'll be back uh what was your initiative five it actually won't be back oh it won't be okay well now I'm deleting it 
Okay, all right, so adding you back in. Uh, so the first one hits you, the second one, standing behind it, uh, will move forward. Um, yeah, you're ready to tackle us with a great sword. so if you want to swing the great sword, you can. <laughs> can I? Uh, I don't think you can. You're not proficient when you're in Berwin form, are you? No? So you can at disadvantage? Is that right? Without the proficiency bonus? Without, right? the, yeah, without proficiency bonus, you can swing. So you're basically just doing a straight d20. Mm -hmm. And it's a, yeah. Straight d20. No, and... it's a straight d20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have any straight, so. <laughs> yeah, you missed. <laughs> All right, he too is going to swing twice at you. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, 26, uh, the first one hits, second one misses. All right, for 24 slashing damage. See the dire wolf charging forward and then immediately poofing out of existence as the <laughs> druid returns back, uh, getting wailed on by a great axe. Markinor, your turn. Why does everybody run out in front of me? Because uh, you're slow. Run forward. Uh, seeing the one directly in front of... Uh, Berwin just laying into him. Uh, Markinor is going to cast his hand and shout in the direction of the giant. Yield. Or kneel, I guess I should say. Okay. Uh, the closest one? Yep. Okay. Uh, wisdom save. Six. <laughs> All right. As on his turn, he will attempt to kneel. And stay there until he breaks it breaks free. Okay. Um and da da Can I no. Um I think that's going to be everything. I'll down another potion here. Okay. And that's going to be it. All right. Mark and Nora commanding this giant to kneel. You see it confused for a moment, and then its body begins to start making the motion to kneel on the ground. Kaylin. Yeah. I forgot. Move just a little bit down the hall. And okay. <sighs> oh, didn't need to do that. Yeah, fuck. <sighs> okay. Yeah, okay, so I'm right behind the job. I'm going to center it up there so I can do this. We're going to use the roll of synaptic static I have put in my ring of spell store. Okay. Intelligence saves. They're super intelligent. Oh. So intelligent. It's crazy. Yeah. They're <laughs> smart as one almost. almost saved. <laughs> 28 psychic damage, and they have to roll a d6. For every attack roll or ability check, and subtract it from those rolls. Unless they still didn't save on their next turn. All right. For up to a minute. Anything else? Mm -hmm. nope. All right, you see the one in the back that it got wailed on by a few attacks is starting to look a little bit weaker after this uh, crackling energy uh, interferes with both of their thoughts and their brains a bit. Uh, but the one in the front, the one's beginning to kneel, looks very ready to go. Alien. Oh, let's see here. So, definitely want to move up. Move up to here. I'm still going to keep attacking the guy that I have hunters marked. Okay. Regular arrows. Regular arrows. 21 19 both hit. 
Twenty. All right. Um, and that is all I will do. All right, two more arrows, plunk, plunk, right into the chest of this guy. Uh, still staggering back, starting to look very winded, very wounded, but still standing. Berwin. Yes. Great axe, Hurdy. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Um, this front one's beginning to kneel, correct? Mm-hmm. Not quite there yet, though. I've seen this before, and I don't really want to hit him. Um, can I move over here? Have it? Could I move there? Um, yeah, you can move through. Okay, cool. Um, then bonus action. I think that's. Bonus action, action, I'm going to attack with my staff of the woodland. The 23 hit the one back here. Yes. 13 bludgeon damage. Okay. And that's it. Alright, so you see something Berwin hasn't done in quite some time. He imbues magic into his quarter staff, sliding past the one that's beating the Neo, and clonks this thing went right into its back, its lower back, uh, dealing some damage to it, but it is still standing. That's it. All right, this one follows through with its movement, kneeling on the ground, and then ending its turn. It will be snapping out at the end of its turn, but can't stand up yet. This one that just got smacked just oh, turns around and brings his great axe down at you twice, Berwin. 17 and 28. The 28 will hit no matter what. Alright. 17 so misses. 24 slashing damage. And that's their turn. Markador! Uh. Markinor is going to charge forward here. Um, can I share this space too? Sure. Okay. Uh, if I can, then I'm going to walk up and swipe. Three times. Well, twice. And. Oh, Jesus. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you will see. 72. Two. Okay. Uh, so you. Diving forward, moving past this one that's kneeled on the ground, that's starting to gather its wits back past you, or back to it. Uh, you move past it, next to the other one, trying to bring the hammer around. Uh, but you lunge past it and expose yourself. Uh, it is going to make a reaction attack against you. 17, or 13, sorry. Yeah, it misses. Um, okay. One second. Four and an eight. Yeah. And... Another attempt here. Better, 21. 21 is better. Okay. It hits. Uh, and then once again with War Priest, uh, try to swipe a third time. 15. Uh, we'll also hit. Okay. Uh, so that gives us 11 damage. And. Um, I think that's going to be everything. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. So your first attack, uh, lunging past, you're able to step aside of it, swinging the great axe toward you. You follow up with two more heavy attacks from your hammer. Uh, the first one, knocking it up against the ice wall in this cramped space, but the second one, you're able to bring across and catch it right in the jaw as it's leaning forward, and you hear crunching sounds as it falls to the ground. Hey, son, I'm helping. 
is going to fire a shot at the prone. No, he's not. Ew. He's going to start moving forward because that's not a smart move. 50, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45. He's going to stop there and wait. Hey, Lynn. I'm going to saunter down the hall a bit. And... Ooh. Um, so yeah, the second two will miss. You were making all these attack as disadvantage, so... Because uh, he's prone. Unless you got... Wait, no. I don't think anything does prone, so... Oh, uh, <laughs> make one more attack, just to see if it's lower than a 23. <laughs> just the 23 then alright so 23 will hit uh, force four, six, damage. Six force damage alright anything else that's it alright three more going out three more blasts going out only one this time uh, connecting with its body as it's starting to stand back up but not quite there yet Alien. um well given that oh uh, let's get, get the bottom up and uh, let's keep moving a little bit forward I'll use my bonus action to move the hunter's mark to him Okay. Attack one. Once again, range oh, attacks right, are at disadvantage because he's prone, so right, 14 will right. miss. I thought, he, I thought you said. He was all the process of getting up, right? Yeah, but not quite there yet. Okay. Uh, 14 will also miss. Alright, two shots at this guy knocked prone, just unable to hit him though at range. Anything he is? I'll just pull out my. All right. Uh, so with that, we move on to Berwin. As two more arrows fly right by this guy as he's trying to dodge and move, being kind of an awkward target to shoot at. Berwin. Ah uh, yes. Um, I'm gonna walk up behind him. And hit him again. Okay. Uh, at advantage. Advantage. Hmm? What is this? Right. right. <laughs> 28 will hit. Melee druid, go. For eight, eight damage. Bludgeoning. Woo! All right, big numbers, big plays. All right, anything else? Yeah, uh, that's it. All right, so another bonk on the back as this guy fully stands back up. Man spell. Not interfering with his mind. He is going to... Step back. Uh, through you two, kind of taking up the back area here. And not amused by the druid is going to swing twice at him again. Oh, it missed mm, both his attacks. Yes, That's he will miss. That's unfortunate. Again, four and a five on his rolls. Woohoo. Big plays, Mr. Giant. All right, he misses both his attacks at Berwin. Berwin just dancing out of the way, rolling down the side of this body of the dead Frost Giant. Markinor. Uh, Markinor is going to... Sicker Flame. Sicker Flame. Deck save, super dexterous guy. Yes. Yeah, 14. 14 Radiant. Uh, and... Oh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah? Wait, uh, one second. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no, something happened. One of these days, I'm going to use some of my other fun spells, like Magic Weapon or... <laughs> Crusader's Mantle. Although that one at this point is kind of useless, isn't it? So... Magic weapon is the one where it adds a bonus to my weapon itself, like the one that I hold. It's not the... But doesn't the it only do it if it's not already a magic weapon? Oh. Mm. 
Oh yeah, it is not. Yeah, it has to be non magic. So, but I can't drop it because it's a cleric spell. Okay, hopefully so. my system doesn't fry. <laughs> I uh, just spilled water all over the back of my desk. Oh no! Oh, no. Right, oh, no! Right on top of my power supply. So hopefully that doesn't fry. I could use crusade. Well, if it hasn't fried yet. Open. We're gonna wait and see. I got a towel on it drying it now, but. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. And. Because I use my attack action, I'll go ahead and war priest for a hammer strike. Mm, is war priest allow you to do that, or does it yep. have to be a melee attack? No, it just says as long as you use your attack action, you can use it to make one uh, weapon attack as a bonus action. With Sacred Flame, you're using the cast a spell action, not the attack action. So it's different? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, sure. Uh, then my turn ends. All right. Yeah, page 189, the player's handbook. All right. All righty. Uh, okay, so hitting him with Sacred Flame. Still looking alive, not too beat up. Uh, but he is standing, making him an easier target, so Azon is now going to just try his damn just to hit somebody with this heavy crossbow. Uh, 19 will hit! Woohoo! Yay! Alright, for a big old whopping 7 damage. Alright, able to get a crossbow bolt to hit finally. Kaylin, your turn. Well, seeing this guy move away, I'm just going to move close. Even though I could, you know, he's standing up now, I could do something, but I just want to make noise in his head. Pull the dead. Pull the dead. Oh yeah, good old wisdom save. Hey. Six no eights. damage. No damage. One time I actually rolled decent damage on something. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly wisdom saves. Um. Yeah, that's all I want to do. All right. Bell's tolling the distance, but it seems to have no effect on this giant. Alien. Okay. Let's go right up there. And <clears throat> we'll carve him up a little bit. Uh, both will hit. Uh, that's about to do. That's the one All three will hit, rather. Oops. Which ones are you doing? The, the last <laughs> one. And then the first one. First. <laughs> Using all three of his swords at once. Not the rapier. Growing a third arm and attacking with everything. Right. No, he's just taking after uh, Sif. <laughs> One in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Zolo or whatever is or Zoro is that his Zoro. name? <laughs> uh, what's your total? Thirty-eight. Jeez. Eight. Okay. All right. If he attack. Yep, 30. That's it? Yep. Alright, so three big attacks. This frost giant. Lots of cuts and bruises and such appearing as he's getting wailed on, but still standing. Berwin. Yay. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, bonk works for 14. <laughs> Alien Druid hasn't missed yet. It's kind of like Kaylin and her daggers, apparently. Yeah, that's, that's it. what you should be doing. Alright. <laughs> Uh god, he has a menagerie of targets right now. Uh squishy little elf with blades, Alion, swinging twice at you. Uh here. One second. Oh, uh I am protection on the first. Yeah. Okay. I had to get back to mm. my character sheet. Roll a D six for the second one. Oh yes. Oh, two down to seven, uh, eight, seventeen. Yeah. So in that case, uh, both miss. All right, swinging away, able to be protected by Markandor, and then uh, you see it flinching a bit as the synaptic static takes over again, hampering his movements. Markandor, your turn. My 
Arcanor is because I'm I want to try things and I don't know what I want to try. Uh, Markinor is going to I guess just attack. Yeah, I'll just attack. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Damn. Her one day. <laughs> we need to throw that dice away. Uh, 33. Nice show for those guys. Holy uh, cow. Alright, well, I'm doing real good. Real too bad. Uh, doing real good there, yeah. buddy. Uh, as you swing with the hammer, uh, he, the frost giant raises his hand up and just easily, like, it hits the back of his palm, but he doesn't even seem to notice it and just flicks it away. Uh, you kind of fear that you might need to hit him way harder to be able to do anything to him. Uh, you'll have disadvantage on your next attack roll against your target. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Another nat one. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Twice in a nice. row. That's awesome. Gorge. Yeah. <laughs> that was That's me last awesome. session of Tyranny. Got yeah, it. it was. All right. 87. All uh, right. Well, uh, you now have uh, ended your turn. You attack wildly the second time trying to put more force behind your attack, and you <laughs> end your turn and move to the bottom of the turn order next round. Huh. Oh, Aethon goes before you now. Oh, Aethon, no. <laughs> the slow ass clear or pattern <laughs> uh, knight. That's what he is. Okay. Uh, well, it's his turn. He's gonna go. see if he can keep on going. Nope. Nope. Just uh, got the one shot. He is. He's happy. With maybe that. he should stop using melee, or maybe he hasn't learned that yet. He wants to use melee, but he's super squishy right now. <laughs> uh, okay, Markinor's already gone. Back to Kaylin. Is this guy looking pretty damaged or still kind of doing okay? He's pretty beat up. Yeah, pretty beat up. Anyway. I want to go in and hit him with daggers, but there's not really any, too much space up there, so... There's plenty of space. Find him. Yeah, but not... Kayla's just like, yeah, you guys are already up there, so we'll just... Uh... Okay, all three will hit. Eleven... Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and describe how you take out the last frost giant. Like I said, just seeing there wasn't really a space, I just flicked my fingers out. Three little bolts of force come out. Just to basically give them three eyes. Two in the eye sockets, one right square in the forehead, poking a little hole. All right, so dun dun dun, three hit right into the face of this frost giant. He teeters, slamming his head back against the wall of the ice there. It kind of cracks a bit. Some shards of ice fall to the ground, but no cave-in or anything happens, and he falls to the ground heavily. Poor guy. <laughs> Bad time all around. Yeah. Yell up to Berwin. Berwin, you can get your own nails this time. That was gross. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I would like to uh, harvest the uh, fingernails, please. Okay, make a survival check. Just rags, basically. All I yeah, find. more hides and such. You Dang see uh, a sacks of rocks. That's, That's about it. it. Uh... Uh, you're able to get one. Ouch. Hmm. All right. You so still you still holding on to the other nails, Kalen? Uh, actually, I could give those to you. Wouldn't I'll take them. Up. What you have? What four? Yeah. Okay, I now have five. You investigate this chamber beyond. Once again, you find some more sleeping hides and such. <laughs> um, nothing really of value in this cave. It seemed to be another small guard post that you just assaulted. Once again, the wind howls loudly uh, right outside the chamber, um, but you know that there is another pathway now leading uh, off this direction, leading back out towards the crevice. 
But that is where we're going to go ahead and end the session for the evening. Before we do, mm. I like to cast that and roll around in it. Yeah. Uh, you can cast Healing Spirit. What is that? A minute? It's a minute. Yeah. yeah. So it's another what? Oh. Nine. Oh, Ninety-six. Yeah. Everybody Ouch. can heal up for 31. Yay! Some will be happy to do so. Yay! <laughs> I just oh, wanted to yeah. do that before I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Max Health again. Yep. Same. Max Health's still not there. She's trying. Okay, I'm not <laughs> Max either. <laughs> well. I am, thankfully. Well, it takes me a little while to get to max. All that HP. All right. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. I'm going to head off right now and turn my computer up just in case it fries. So, <laughs> okay. have a good night. Thanks for playing, guys. Yes, Bye. I have it. I have a good one. Yeah, see you guys. All right, be right back. Uh, that's it. Let's quickly end our stream. Be right back. Mm-hmm. <laughs>